Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So before we get into the review, I do want to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope your 2020, I hope it wasn't as rough as it was for a lot of other individuals. Uh, I know for myself, it was kind of on both planes. It was a little bit rough, but I had a lot of great, amazing moments and events that happened throughout the year. So I do hope all of you are doing well and you go into 2021 with optimism and really just all around positivity. So all together, let's go ahead and take 2021 for ourselves. Now for 2021, I did set myself a goal, which is to review basically like every single piece of merch from the Gundam Age franchise. I'm doing everything I can, all the way from the model kits to the robot Namashis, and I might do a little bit of other smaller things like the Gundam heads and maybe even some of the, the Gashapons. But for the most part, I'm going to really stick to uh, the robot Namashis and the model kits. Everything else, I'm just going to try and fit in somewhere throughout the year. Now leading the charge of all this is going to be the high grade Gundam Age 1 Normal. Uh, this was one of the first models I ever reviewed on this channel. I think it was maybe the second model I actually reviewed and I am super happy about this because this is probably like my sixth time building like a true high grade um, Gundam Age 1 Normal. So doing it again so many years later it brought back a lot of good memories and it made me realize just how amazing this line is and I'm that much hyped for the rest of the model kits. Now before we get into the review, you can go ahead and get this particular model kit over at NewTypeHQ.com and if you use that promo code KROSAMA, you can get 10% off your first purchase. So take a look at the box first. Honestly, the front cover art looks great. I have no issues with it. When you see the cover arts of Gundam Age high grades, you know without a doubt it's a Gundam Age kit, not just because it says Gundam Age right there in the front. But the overall design, it has the white background and the MSs are pretty recognizable, I would say. And then on the side, it's just gonna have some details, you're gonna have some poses, the accessories, and on the other side, you're just gonna have a little bit of a synopsis of the mobile suit and pretty much the first episode. So let's talk about details for the kit. It looks great. Honestly, when you show this to me, and if you say, hey, this is a kit that came out in 2011, I kinda would have a little bit of a hard time believing you because it's just so well made and it has a lot of great etched in panels, a lot of good details, raised parts that you really don't need stickers. If you're a competent enough painter or you at least want to try your hand at painting, this is a great base kit to go ahead and test out those skills. Or if you're like, hey, I really just don't want to use stickers, you really don't even need them. Just go ahead and paint the raised parts as needed and you're pretty much good. And that's including the knees. You would think that the knees are pretty much gonna be a flat surface and you slap the sticker right on the flat surface at the edges. No, this is going to have raised parts right there on the knees, which is fantastic. And even on the thrusters, one thing I love about this and I really didn't realize until probably about last week is the thrusters have some pretty good details in them. And I, the only thing that's kind of unfortunate is that there's no like holes or plugs or anything because you can get some thruster effect parts and you can just pop them right in. Now something I did do to this kit that you're probably noticing is that on the V-fin, I did cut and sand the safety nubs because I do plan on doing a lot of customization to this kit and paint it. Hopefully it'll be done by the end of the month. But for any kind of like customization, I did do a lot of sanding around the kit, so you are gonna see some of the like sanding marks. Uh, but I did clean out those V-fins, and also I did clip the front and back skirts in half, so that way they can kind of like spread and move in independently amongst each other. Now, like I said, this kit is gonna come with stickers. You're basically just gonna have the ones that's gonna be for the front and back camera. You're gonna have the eye stickers. You're gonna have the front chest. You're gonna have the knees, and you're going to have the scope for the weapon. Now for articulation, this kit can do a lot. Now it's gonna be using the poly caps from pretty much like 2000, I think one from the seed era. But even with those poly caps, this kit can do a lot of movement and it's not really restricted. It doesn't feel like it's loose and it has a really good system going on for it. 
Now for accessories, we'll start off with the Dodge Rifle. It comes into two different components, and the first component is basically like a beam spray gun, so you can just use it as is and take off the front part. But once you attach the front part of the Dodge Rifle, it can rotate to the side or you can rotate it to the front, and it's also going to have a little handle that just swivels right out. Now from there, you can have it hold with the other hand, or you can just have it one-handed, and bam, you can fire some shots. But the one thing about the Don's rifle, it doesn't shoot a normal beam. What it does is shoots out a drill beam that kind of like penetrates the armor. I really don't know how that works in the world of age, to be honest. Like, that's just how it was built. But when they found out that the, uh, the normal kind of beam guns that they had just wasn't effective to the Vegans. They were like, hey, we're gonna go ahead and use the data that we collected through the eight system, and we're gonna create the Dodge Rifle, so that way it can just pierce all through the Vegans' armor. Next is gonna be the shield. Honestly, I love the looks of the shield, and I think it's pretty cool that if you flip it up upside down, it's gonna have an A symbol for age. I think that was like pretty cool and just like cute looking. So if you wanna hold it like that and it can have like the little A symbol, you know, actually facing the right way, you can or you can flip it the other side, but it basically just pegs onto the arm. Now, one thing this kit does have, which is a kind of a gimmick, is you can rotate the front like sleeve. You can just take that and rotate it to the bottom, so that way you can move the position of the actual shield, and that's super cool for a high grade during 2011. Next is going to be the beam sabers. All you really need to do is just take them from the side skirts. You can plug them right into the hand, and you have two different options. Either A, you can use the beam dagger effects, or you can use the normal size beam saber effects. Now, it's also going to come with an open expressive hand, so if you want to put in some dynamic poses, you can have a look that extra spicy. And the last bit of accessories that's going to come with is going to be the flat part, which makes it the age one flat. All the H1 flat is, it just omits the H system because whenever the H2 is developed, then the H1 loses the H system and it becomes the flat. But it's still uh, basically a mobile suit that Foot uses, even though he's commander, that's pretty much his go-to mobile suit. Now for high comparisons, here it is next to the high grade G30 and the master grade H1 normal. So for my final thoughts, honestly, this kit is a must have, a cop it, the highest tier cop it I can ever give on this channel. It is fantastic. I love everything about it. And sure, that's a lot of bias, you know, especially coming from me. But I think that this kit is really amazing to have if you are just basically getting into Gunpla for the first time or you just really like the series. And I know the Master Grade is very hard to come by. And if you do come by it, chances are it's going to be extremely, extremely expensive. So getting the high grade right now, it's not really a bad thing. And maybe just do a little bit of customization, some panel lining, some detail work. I think at that point, you could really make it look pretty damn good for your shelf. But the Master Grade is obviously the one you want to try and strive for, but that's going to be a different review later on this month. But for the time being, I do believe that the high grade age one normal is a must have for any age enthusiast, for any high grade enthusiast, or a person that is just now getting into Gunpla. I think if you're in any of those three categories, it's a must have. Otherwise, I mean, I still think you're going to enjoy this kit unless you're just a, a Zaku buff or you really just have a lot of interest in a different type of model kit. But this right here is kind of like a granddad, like homage to the RX-78-2. But it's a really good high grade all together. So that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you to everyone who watches. Uh, thank you to all the members who have been supporting me, uh, all the Discord peeps. You guys have just kept this channel afloat. And I honestly wouldn't be doing this age year if it wasn't for the support of New Type HQ as well as all the members. So thank you to all you guys for assisting me and just making this channel run very smoothly, giving me good advice. Uh, so that way I can you know, give you the best product possible. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next Age Review. Bye-bye.